Uh, what time is here? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, today is third Sunday, and it's a Sunday that we have never seen before. And it's a day that we're going to continue to give our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. So we're going to go through some, go through the devotions. I want y'all to join in with me in singing hymn 164. I have decided to follow Jesus. And what we're going to do, we're saying one verse. And, of course, to try to save time for the teacher so he had more time to elaborate on God's word. Amen. 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 So y'all join in with me in saying that I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. And our scripture will be coming from John 1 verse 22, starting at verse 22 to 33, John 1 verse 22 to 33. Amen. Look, I'm telling y'all to get it. I don't even have to. How about repeating that? Ma'am. John, John 1. Verse 22. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back up, John 10, John, chapter 1, verse ah, chapter 10, verse 22. I'm sorry, okay. please forgive me. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm, that was from the other, other, other morning. Okay. Mistake from my head and not my heart. Amen. When we have it, just say amen. 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 And it reads as such, and it was as Jesus. Tell them the, fe the feast, the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Salome porch. Solomon's porch. Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not the words that I, the work that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye not, ye are not of my sheep, as I say unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Never, never perish. Neither shall any of them, any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then, then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I sh shown you from my Father, for which of those works ye stone me? And Jesus answered them, saying, For a good work we stone them not, but for blasphemy, and because of that thou be a man, makest that thyself God. 
I read verses 22 to 33, and may the Lord have a blessing to the hearers of his word. And we're going to let the teacher uh, do the uh, prayer, please. Bless the Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that we're able to come into your house yes. and learn of you today. Yes, we Lord. pray, Lord, that what we learn, that we are able to keep and hold fast to it, that our lives will reflect, Lord, what we have learned. Lord, we pray for forgiveness of our sins. Lord, though we strive to do good, Lord, we do stumble and fall sometimes. But we thank you for your justness and your faithfulness to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear Lord, as we go forward today, we pray, Lord, that our ears and heart be open to your word. Lord, that we are able, Lord, to receive this word and, Lord, to put this word into action. Dear Lord, we trust and believe that we're here by faith and, Lord, and not by simply <laughs> something we decided to do this morning. We, en we endeavor to learn of you. And so, Lord, we lift our pastor before you now. We ask that you continually keep him and his household, Lord, in your care. And the families of this church, Lord, that you will keep them also in your care. And so we endeavor to give you honor and glory. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 And the title of our lesson for this morning is Complete in Christ. Complete in Christ. And I'm going to move out the way and let our teacher come on up so he can have have the hour to uh, say what thus say the Lord. Amen. 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 What a fitting song this morning. I have decided to follow Jesus. Yeah. It is clearly in tune with the lesson for this morning. For if we decided to follow him, then we should follow him. <laughs> All right? So praise the Lord. And But before I begin, I want us to just look at the scriptures that were just read. And this lesson, we're going to talk about quite a few things. But this lesson, it's all about words. It's all about what you hear. We know, according to scripture, that faith comes by what? Hearing. Meaning, we heard about him, we received him, we accepted him because of what we heard. Neither one of us has seen him, right? But we've heard of him and we received what we've heard. And therefore, our faith in him, what? Increased. It was established in Christ Jesus. If we look at these scriptures that was just read, the same holds true. Looking back at John chapter 10, we're going to look at two verses. Verse 25 and then also verse 38. Verse 25, Jesus said what? I told you. Meaning what? You heard what I said. But you didn't believe me. Right? Why couldn't they believe him? Because they're not of the Father. They are of the devil. That's why they couldn't hear him. They couldn't receive what he said. But Jesus said this. He says, well, you know what? Since you couldn't hear me, secondary to get you to have faith in me, 38 says, but if I do, though ye believe me not, he says what? Believe the works that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in the Father. We don't walk by sight. But boy, if it's necessary, Jesus is telling you right now, believe for the very work's sake, for what he did. But faith comes by hearing. And so as we look into uh, our Sunday school lesson, it's all about hearing. Don't you know the devil speaks? Don't you know he, he talks too? Don't you know we have sometimes our ears and <laughs> mind more tuned to what he has to say? Versus what God has to say through Christ Jesus. It's a shame. It's an open shame that we allow him uh, to have such high regard in our life. But good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord this morning. I'm finna calm down. We got a lot to talk about. Today's lesson the Lord has provided is complete in Christ. Complete meaning done, finished, enough, yes. the cup is full, ain't nothing else going in it. Yes. Here's a secret, a full cup can be replaced, can it not, with another substance, yeah. it can, oh, yeah. 
but it must remove what's in it in order to replace it. If your cup is full in Christ Jesus, why then <laughs> will we replace what we know to be truth with folly, foolishness, and stupidity? Why would we do that? Amen? And so the Sunday School lesson says complete in Christ. Everything that we need is in Christ Jesus. And first and foremost, we need to hold on to that. Amen. The Sunday School Scriptures is Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 through 19. If you would in your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Colossians chapter 2. We're going to look at the first few verses to, uh, along with some words. This Sunday I might do a lot of reading, depending on how the Lord leads me. But let's go to Colossians chapter 2, and let's look at verse 1, and then we'll get into our study lesson today. Amen? Colossians chapter 2. Verse 1. Oops, let me get over there. I went to... Alright, Colossians chapter 2, verse 1 says, For I would that ye know what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea. And for as many as not have, excuse me, as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all richness of the full assurances of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father, and of Christ, and whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Four, and this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing what? Words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joining and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ background. The Apostle Paul at this present time had not even ever been to this church. Paul didn't plant this church. This is a church that was planted by someone else. And that person is Epaphras. He planted this church. Epaphras was a minister of God, minister of Christ, who knew Paul. And if you look at the book of Philemon, verse 23, he is also called a fellow prisoner with Paul. Somewhat indicating that he was either locked up with Paul or he went to go visit Paul. Many of Paul's letters have to deal with issues that arose in the church that he either knew of or got wind of. Such is the case in the book of or the church of Colossae. But not only in Colossae, in Laodicea, and Ephesians, having to deal with issues. And so this letter is Paul dealing with an issue. And the main issue is heresy. What is heresy? What is heresy? Is it like taking in false doctrine and mixing it with Christian values? Right. You're accepting something that you know ain't the truth. You're replacing something, the truth, with some false doctrine, meaning teaching, some false some, uh, the, I guess you would say old folks say some slick tongue devils, you know, <laughs> words. You're taking what you know to be true and you're replacing it. You're going against what you have declared to be the truth. And it's going against that. Amen? Heresy. Sad to say, in many churches today, there's a whole lot of heretics whole lot of heresy going on and sad to say there are many Christians falling to the wayside because there is no steadfastness in them and their faith in Christ Jesus they look at Jesus as if it's just basically something to do somebody who has no real level of um, control over their life and so guess what if you lack sincerity and control then you're willing to do anything. Mm -hmm. You're open to anything. You will accept anything. Amen? But <laughs> I'm here to tell you, 
Everything that comes out of somebody's mouth is not good, no matter how they look. It does not matter whether it's your grandmama, granddaddy, mama, your daddy, your sisters, your brother, a pastor, a deacon, an evangelist. If it ain't lined up with the word of God, then it is of no effect. It should yeah. be of no effect. Yeah. Do you understand? And so what we're supposed to do is guard ourselves from these heresies and these things with the word of God. How do we do that? Simply by knowing what the word of God is saying. It leads to your study habits and the things of that nature. It leads to your acceptance of what you read in the scriptures. Do you accept what it says? Or are you willing to say that it's not really that strong? It's not really, you know, I, I can waver on this or I can waver on that. And so as we talk about this, the Apostle Paul is dealing with heresy. And so if we would, or you would, uh, someone please stand and as we look at these scriptures read verses 6 through 13 and if someone else will be so kind to read 14 through 19 Amen Amen, Amen. Colossians 2 and 6 As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk ye in him rooted and built up in him and established established his in the faith as ye have been taught abounding therein with with thanksgiving beware lest ye man spoil you through false philosophy. philosophy and vain deceit after the after the tradition of man, after the rudiments, rudiment, rudiments mm -hmm. of the work of the world, and not after Christ, for in Him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead body, body, bodily, mm -hmm. and ye are complete in Him, which is the head of all principalities and power to 13 yes ma'am okay. in whom also ye are circumcised with the circum with the circumcision made within without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ buried with him in baptism wherein also you are raised with him through through the faith of the operations of God whom has raised him from the dead and you being dead in you in your sin and the uncircumcision of your of your flesh has has he quickened to together with him having forgive, forgiven you of trespasses Amen. Amen. Thank you. 14 Amen. through 19, if you would. 14 through 19 reads, Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that which was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of a holiday, of a holy day, or of any new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humble humility, and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head uh, from which all the body, by joints and bands having nourishment, um, um, ministered. ministered and knit together, in, uh, in, increased with the increase of God. Amen. 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 Appreciate it. As we look at this, 
Uh, this, I'm going to read this. It might take roughly a minute to read. Amen? Amen. Uh, if we look at chapter 1, it speaks of this gentleman named Epaphras. That's uh, chapter 1, verse 7. It says this, Either he visited Paul in Rome or was in prison there with him. You can read about that in Philemon 23, as he's called a fellow prisoner. In either case, he informed Paul of the dangerous theological errors circulating in the churches of Colossae and Laodicea. In response to Epaphras' plea for help, Paul writes this epistle to the Colossians, which is also to be read in the church at Laodicea. In an attempt to check the heresy's influence, the heresy was syncretistic. That is, it was composed of elements drawn from paganism, Judaism, and Christianity. The pagan element exposed a false philosophy that appears to have been an early form of Gnosticism. This movement viewed matter as evil, denied the divine creation of the universe, held to many angelic beings of spiritual intermediaries existing between God and man, advocated the worship of these angelic beings, and stressed secret knowledge received when initiated into their occult as the means of attaining salvation. The Jewish element was legalistic in nature, retained the Mosaic law, imposed circumcision, followed dietary restrictions, and calendar observations, and advocated asceticism. That heresy, uh, the heresy's Christian component did not deny Christ, but dethroned him. It was not regarded as divine or as creator of the universe, and his death was thus deprived of any saving merit. We've seen some of these things. We've seen where we know that there's people out there in this present day, they are worshiping angels. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. We see that there are people praying to angels. Amen. Yep. We see that people are calling on the name of Gabriel and calling on the name of Michael and calling all kinds of stuff. We also see there's people that are praying Mary, the mother of Jesus. I was going to say that. Yes, sir. <laughs> what? You say don't say that? I was going to say that, but oh, yes, okay. sir. <laughs> right. When, as we're going to study and continue to study, no, no, no. Complete in Christ and Christ alone. Yeah. Amen. And so when we look at asceticism, you'll see some people out there that are telling you, don't touch this, you can't do that, yeah. don't eat oh this, this, that, this, this, that. You know, they, they are binding you. Yeah. They are, it's, it's like they're arresting you. Mm -hmm. And the freedom that you have been received in Christ Jesus, they are snatching it away from you. Mm -hmm. And they're putting things on you that God did not put on you. Amen. Touch not, taste not. It's not a part of this lesson, but if you just continue on to like verse 22, mm -hmm. right, right, just after what we're studying, that's asceticism. Mm -hmm. Taste not, touch not. Mm -hmm. There's things that we have freedoms that you know what? <laughs> we freely give them away because of what somebody teaches yeah. or what somebody says yeah. or you're trying to act holy, mm -hmm. being holier than thou, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. But you are handcuffing yourself and freedoms that the Lord has given you. The supremacy and adequacy of Christ is stressed throughout. He is presented as fully God, as creator, as preeminent over the universe and church, and as savior. Because Christ is over all, the Colossians are, they are complete in him. That is, he is more than adequate, and that he alone, rather than any angelic being, can meet all their spiritual needs. The Colossians then should worship God the Father through Him alone and depend on Him only for salvation. Refusing to rely on vain philosophy, secret knowledge, or legalism in an attempt to secure divine favor. Nothing else is needed. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing else is needed. Amen? But yeah. Christ alone and his atoning sacrifice that he did on the cross for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Even the scripture is very plain. Whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. should yeah. not what? Yeah. But have. Yeah. It didn't come with all this other stuff. It's as simple as that. We make Christianity hard. Yeah. 
we make it complicated. But it's not so. There's no need for it to be. Yeah. For he did all the work. Yeah. Somebody. So I just wanted to um, say, because I went to a church with a friend of mine some years back, and at their church, women are not allowed to wear pants. And she was like, I couldn't come with her unless I wore a skirt or a dress. And my daughter wore a skirt or a dress. Does that kind of fall under that? Or is it something else? Well, Paul taught that women are not to wear men's clothes and men are not to wear women's clothes. Yeah. clothes. And for as long as they people consider pants to be men's clothes, yeah. right? And so when a woman was wearing plant pants, she was wearing men's clothes. But there are women's pants out there. Mm -hmm. And if you look at those folks over there in the Middle East, they wear from head to toe, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, that somewhat <laughs> looks like a gown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a gown, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Now, when, and I can't get too far off into it, but that's where that comes from. Okay. It's the interpretation of what Paul said, how women ought to not have braided hair or earrings yeah. or, you know, certain things. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? That was a standard that was set. Mm -hmm. That's what they required. And so if you're going to be in that situation, then you fall up under the leadership, according to scripture, what the pastor of that church was saying. Got Amen. me? Yeah. Anybody on that one? Been okay. there, done that. Amen. <laughs> Seen it happen. Yeah. Huh? Seen it happen. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but as we get further into this, mm -hmm. you, hopefully my prayer is that you will see the freedoms that you have. Mm -hmm. And all of God's commandments, as he said, are not grievous. Right? Mm -hmm. We have to adjust. Do we not? Yeah. We have to adjust mm -hmm. where adjustments are necessary on our part. Amen. 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 All right, so the first section is committed to Christ. It's covering verses 6 through 8. And again, those verses says, As ye have therefore received any new creature, any new born-again believer, in the beginning you have received Christ Jesus the Lord. Not just Christ Jesus, but Christ Jesus the Lord. When we received him, we received him as Christ. He was the promised Messiah, the fulfillment of God's numerous promises in the Old Testament. We also received Jesus. He was the Savior, or is the Savior, who had died as a perfect substitute for the sins of all humans. We also received Him as Lord. He was, or is, the sovereign over all of life, and in particular, the church. The verse may be paraphrased like this. Therefore, just as you have accepted the teaching that presents Jesus as both Messiah and Lord, he says, so continue to maintain this relationship with him. The recipients have been taught that Jesus is Messiah, the one divinely anointed to secure man's salvation, and two, Lord, he has been put as Lord, he is Lord, the divine person to whom man submits in obedience. The heretics denied Jesus' atoning death and lordship. So the Colossians are urged to keep him just as they were initially taught, as Messiah and Lord. They are to continue to look to him for salvation and continue in submission to his authority. You will have people come to you and tell you there's another way to get to heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? They'll come to you and they'll say, you know, is it, they'd be like Satan, how Satan came to Eve. Does it really say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that really what it's saying? And so they'll come to you and they'll say, no, no. You, you got Muhammad. You got this person. You got that person. You know, if you just listen to him, what he's saying, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, what the other guy is telling me, it makes sense because what this, this Christianity stuff is too hard, mm. right? Mm. It's, it's too hard. It's too rigid. You can't do this. You can't do that. Mm. It's just too rigid. 
I don't feel like doing all of that stuff. But this guy is telling me all I have to do is be, oh, uh, you know, morally good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. what is morality? It's subject to what you think morality is. That's right. Leaning to your own interpretation. Your own ter interpretation of morality. Yeah. Of moral. We can see in the world all the stuff that's going on. And some people in the church mm -hmm. think that it's moral. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think that it's good. Mm -hmm. Think what's going on in the world today is all right. Mm -hmm. Morality is subject to how you believe it to be. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but no, you I hear this all the time, and I hear it from a specific denomination. I'm not going to say which one it is, because you you guys can run across it. They all they I mean they're I'll I'll lead you into it. They're priests. Tell them all you got to do is do good, mm -hmm. be kind one to another. They ain't said nothing about Christ. Yeah. They ain't said nothing about that we're gonna uh, suffer. For, for his good. Yeah. Just be good. Be kind to this guy over there. And you'll be saved. That's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I've already made, I learned something from St. Simon Missionary Baptist Church. Read the word, study it. Mm -hmm. And when you go out and you tell somebody, you mm -hmm. told them. Mm -hmm. Don't get in no brawl, no argument with them, none of that. Because I used to sit back and say, man, you still ain't good to this. You know, and finally I just, the, the Holy Spirit just said, it's enough. Yeah. You told them. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. right. Just like Jesus told them. Mm -hmm. that how long we got to wait for you to tell us who you really are? Just, I told you. <laughs> you ain't listening. Okay. You ain't trying to listen. Mm -hmm. I told you. And so as the scriptures teaches us, and thankfully where we are in the church that we're in, we're not trying to feed you no fluff. You will have trials and tribulations. Yes, you will have yes. issues. You will, you will go through some things. There will be some decisions that you got to make. There are some people you're going to have to let go. Mm -hmm. And you can't get caught on because of how close they are to you. If it's against what God says, then it's against what God says. Mm -hmm. Period. And we got to accept that. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so as verse 8 says this again, Beware, well let me read number 7, Rooted and built up in Him, established in the faith, as ye have been what? Taught. 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 Not the faith in somebody else, but faith in only one, mm -hmm. Jesus. And his sacrifice that he made for all mankind. Mm -hmm. Nobody else was able to do it. Nobody else can attempt to do it. And it does not matter what somebody says, well, I done did this and I done did... <coughs> no. no. It, it does not matter. You got to hold on to what you have been taught. And if you really hold on to what you've been taught, like I made the analogy a little earlier, if your cup is full with the knowledge of what Jesus Christ did for you and you accept that, your sh cup should not be able to be filled with some foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. You should be able to identify mm -hmm. yeah. if somebody's trying to, we'll see, beguile you. It says, abounded therein with thanksgiving. Eight, beware, lest what? Any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That word philosophy has a Jewish mm -hmm. connotation mm -hmm. to it. And it's called sophistry, mm -hmm. right? It's a Jewish uh, word, is this one. And it's only written one time in these scriptures. And this word, this Jewish philosophy, is called, the definition of it is, fallacy or fallacious reasoning. Reasoning sound and appearance only. And an example of that is these men have obscured and confounded the nature of things by their false principles and wretched sophistry. It sounds good. Mm. It might be a little enticing. It might even make sense to you. But it's leading you to destruction. There is, it's vain. It's worthless. Sounds good. I was going back over uh, the book, The Pilgrim's Progress. And it, I came across again this guy in the book. It talks. His name is Talkative. Now Talkative knows scripture. Mm -hmm. He knows the word. But what he lacks is the the understanding of the scriptures. What he lacked is the being able to put these scriptures into work. And so in this book, it talks about two other characters: one named Christian and one named Faith. As Christian and Faith was listening to Talkative. Faith says, man, he sounds really good. 
right? He sounds really good. He, he will be a great person that will be with us on our travels. Faith said, we ought to have this fellow join us and we can talk about scripture all day long. Christian said to Faith, no, 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 no. He talks a good game, but there is no life in him. The words that he say, he don't do. And so in him, there is just words, but there is no life. And so if we follow such a person, no matter how good he or she sounds, then we're leading ourselves to destruction. That's why we want the spirit of discernment. Yes. To discern yes. whether this person is leading me the right way or this person is leading me to destruction. Just like Eve was beguiled. Beguiled with what? Words. She heard something. And she turned. Versus listening to what God and her husband at the time said, we ain't supposed to eat of that. But somebody came along and said, well, really? Uh, put a question in you. You got to be stronger than that. You got to be steadfast. Amen? Yeah. And you got to be careful. And so I say, uh, I say of myself, as, um, I'll get to that one later. <laughs> amen. It's a testimony. But amen. And so as we look at the second session, we got to be committed to Christ. And the second uh, topic is complete in Christ. And that consists of verses 9 through 15. Amen. Verse 9. It simply says, For in him dwelleth what? Oh. All fullness of the Godhead bodily. Well, what does that mean? In him, all of the Godhead is in him. Mm -hmm. But what does that mean? Complete. He's totally, I don't know if I can say that, but he's totally complete. He has all completeness in him mm -hmm. of everything. All of God. All of All of God. All of, yeah. God. All of God. In human he's, flesh. He's all king. of God. He's king of kings. Yes. Lord of lords. Mm -hmm. When you got God, you got Jesus. If you got Jesus, you got God. Amen. God. In his body, in the flesh that we call Jesus, within his body was God. Period. God walked this earth in the body of a man called Jesus. When we see Jesus, we see the express image of God. Amen. There would be some that would tell you God can't wrap himself in body. God is not in flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's other, you know, religious things out there. God can't be a man. That makes no sense. Yeah. That God, 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 it even said in the scripture that a temple can't even hold God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? It even says that what, who and what can hold God? Yeah. I say it to you like this. Whatever God want to get in, yeah. He can get in. <laughs> Whatever he want to occupy, right. he can occupy. Right. That's right. Amen. It is crazy mm -hmm. to think that a God we serve is limited mm -hmm. by what we think. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's crazy. Oh it makes no sense. But yet there's people out there that will say, now God, Jesus ain't God. Jesus said, I told you who I was. <laughs> I am the Father of one. <laughs> Thank you. I told you. Yeah. I, I, well, when is you going to? I told you. Yeah. But what you don't want to do is hear my voice. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hear my words. Yeah. Faith comes by hearing yeah. my words. Yeah. 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 Sit down and listen. Yeah. Hear what I have to tell you, says oh the Lord. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Nobody should be able to come and wipe this liberty away from you so easily. Mm -hmm. You should not be so easily moved yeah. because of philosophy, vain deceit yeah. that's being spoken out there in the world. Right. Amen. Amen? Yeah. 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 Amen. <laughs> Verse 10 says, and ye are complete in him. Which is the head of all principality and power. Yeah. Well, what is principality and power? Mm -hmm. That's indicative of angelic order. Mm -hmm. 
That's what they're dealing with in Colossians. Gnosticism, worshiping of angels. Mm -hmm. Ephesians, it is said it is a sister letter to, the, uh, to this letter to the Colossians and Laodicea. If you read Ephesians, we just went through all of Ephesians, you'll see how he is talking about the body in Ephesians and he's talking about the head, which is Christ, in, uh, in Colossians. Amen. You see in here, it says simply this, and ye are completing him, which is the what? Head, meaning what? Over mm -hmm. everything. Amen. There is not an angel that's greater than God. Amen. How in the world can you worship something that has been created mm -hmm. by the creator? Yeah. How can you give something of low estate the credibility of this deserving to the one who created him? Yeah. Angels are created. Humans are created. Mm -hmm. The only being that is not created is God. <laughs> yeah. Period. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so he says, head of all principalities and power, all authority, whatever these angels and all of that, whatever power and whatever they have. It also says this in Ephesians chapter 6, right? And wickedness and high places. This is what he's talking about. He is saying simply this. Dealing with this angel worship stuff, you got to be out of your mind. You got to hold on to what you have been taught. Hold on to that. In verse 11, it simply says this, Whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. Well, what does that mean? The circumcision made without hands. Talking about your heart. That's the part. The circumcision made without hands. Not the physical circumcision. This is the spiritual, spiritual circumcision. Spiritual. Amen. It's a spiritual circumcision. We know according to the Abrahamic law or the Moses law, not Abrahamic law, Moses law, their circumcision on the eighth day was the Jewish command. Mm -hmm. On the eighth day that that child, that male child, should be circumcised. Mm -hmm. That was the contract agreement between God and his children mm -hmm. under the Mosaic law. Amen. Amen. Uh, were we under the Mosaic law? No. 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 But we practice it. Huh? But we still practice it. Some of us do. Yeah. Now under the uh, under the Mosaic law, this is how it was supposed this is how it was. If you were Jew, of course you were born into it. Mm -hmm. But if you was a Gentile, a stranger such as we are if we wanted to have partake in that, we had to proselytize into Judaism. Mm -hmm. Meaning we would have to accept that mm -hmm. and go through that to join in. And the Bible declares, and I, I didn't put this in my notes, but trust me if I'm saying something wrong, correct me. Mm -hmm. And the scripture in Old Testament, it teaches us that the stranger that joined himself to Israel the Jewish covenant and accepted that, the Bible declares that they are as if they were Jews. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were accepted. There was no difference under the Old Testament for any non-Jew that joined himself to Israel. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. But they had to go through the circumcision. They had to do all of that stuff. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. This, in the New Testament, under grace, those things have been done away with. And the way it is explained to us, circumcision denotes a coating or cutting off or removal. The circumcision in view here is not physical, but spiritual. Whereby the ruling power of the believer's flesh or sinful nature is broken or removed by Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is broken. All of that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no way we were able to do all of that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God had to come down yeah. mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Oh God, yes. He had to die. Yeah. Yeah. No animal could have protected us or cured us yeah. from the sins yeah. that man did. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God had to wrap uh, John chapter 1 verse 14. Incarnate God. Mm -hmm. He had to come down and he had to fulfill all of those things, because we couldn't do it. Yeah. It's impossible for us to have done it. Oh my God. Amen? Yeah. And so, verse 12, 
It says, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are what? Risen, Risen with him through what? Faith. Faith. Of the operation of God. God. Mm -hmm. Who gives us faith? Mm -hmm. God does. Amen. Romans chapter 12, verses 3. Mm -hmm. The latter part of verse 3 says that he's given every man what? Mm -hmm. A measure mm -hmm. of faith. faith. Mm -hmm. We don't come in empty. We are his creating, his creations. Amen. Mm -hmm. He loved us so much. He doesn't want any of us to perish. He went through whatever that was needed to save yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. We couldn't save ourselves. That's why it says by grace mm -hmm. we are saved. Yeah. By no works of our own. You can't buy your way in. You can't work your way in. You can't do none of that stuff. And trying to do it is foolishness. Mm -hmm. It's as if God work in Christ Jesus reconciling the world to himself is of no effect yeah. if you up here trying yeah. mm -hmm. to work your way in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to show how pious you are. Yeah. Trying to show how good you are. Mm -hmm. The Bible even declares you can give all your money to the poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if it ain't coming from a God-centered heart, yeah. you just gonna gave all your money away. Yeah. That poor man or woman gonna eat good, but it ain't gonna do you no lick of good. Amen. Everything that we do, yeah. it must be God-centered. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Do not, <laughs> thank you, do not be puffed up in and of your own self. And I'm going to say it like this, the Lord had to get me this morning, and he got me good. Uh, real quickly, last night, well, over the course of days, put my lesson together, and I got like 10, okay, pages of my outline. And I sit at my desk. And I said, you know what, I think this Sunday, because of this lesson, I'm going to print out my outline and I'm going to make copies. <laughs> and I'm going to see if anybody will want a copy because I'm more than likely not going to be able to finish everything. And the stuff that I'm saying is more that's actually on my outline. And I said, I'm just going to see if anybody wants anybody want one. So I said, you know what, I'm going to print out 15 of them. <laughs> now I tell you what, I printed out 15 and they were wrong. Oh. I, they, were, they was misprints and... All kinds of stuff. I looked at that stuff. Oh my goodness, no. I threw all that. That's 150 sheets of paper I threw in the trash. <laughs> right? And so I, I went back to the desk and I said, you know what? I'm going to just do 10 of them. My printer, I got two printers, my black and white. When I did that 150, guess what happened? No more ink. Oh my God. So I ain't printing no more. Can't fix that. <laughs> I can't fix that. And so I said, you know what? All right, Lord, I'm determined to print out multiple copies to hand out. I went to my other printer, color printer, put in there. I said, you know what? I'm just going to do five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I put it over there, sent it over there, and guess what? That five didn't come out right. Oh, my. Right? And so I said, you know what? I need to just do my maybe one or two, get my mom one. Give myself one, and I got an extra one sitting over there. And I said, uh, it dawned on me when I woke up this morning and I read the ones that I did print out, they were wrong. Mm -hmm. Wrong with many errors in it. And I said, well, Lord, I thank you that you woke me up early enough to look at my outline. And I believe what you decided to do and help me is to not go forward in pride. Yes. yes. Yeah. Not stepping out. Self. Being self. Pride. Oh, they need to see what I did and all yeah. that stuff. God said no. Yeah. <laughs> Again, and here's here's yeah. here's the here is the truth of the matter is. Every day we live is a day we must be focused, mindful, yeah. mm -hmm. with purpose, serving the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes it is easy to be drawn to the wayside. But when he brings it to your understanding and your knowledge, get back in line. Amen. 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 So as we look at verse 12, as it says, Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. This is not the water baptism, but spirit baptism by which Christ brings the believer into an intimate relation with himself and with his people, the church. Through the Holy Spirit, it says this, Ye are risen signifies that God has raised the Colossians from the sins 
uh, from their sins, habits, values, and guilt of their unconverted life, not allowing them to remain in their old ways and iniquities. Iniquities meaning wickedness. Mm -hmm. When we came to Christ, then as we go through our baptism, as the scripture says, we are baptized in him, he has removed the power of sin over us. I said this before and I, I say it again. We sin truly because we want to sin. We don't have to. Man. When we step out and we sin, mm -hmm. it's something because we lack focus, mm -hmm. could be one of them. Two, willfully sinning, mm -hmm. which is another one. Three, it's just who we are. Mm -hmm. But yet, yeah. Yeah. here we sit, thinking we're going up. Mm -hmm. No, we need to be focused and we need to um, be mindful. And, I, and I, I say this real quickly, again, about myself and how easily, uh, if you lose focus, you could be out of the way. And so what happened to me is when the church, we started out with fasting, and on the first day, it was only, what, maybe 12 hours of fasting, mm -hmm. roughly, give or take, from 6, 24. not even 12. Well, <laughs> it, we're going to talk. That's a whole nother lesson because that's not the way it was supposed to be. And we talked to pastors. It's good that we was able to do the 24 hours on the first day, but that wasn't the charge on the first day. All right? That's another lesson. Look, talk to me after. But we'll talk about it. But amen. But anyway, on that first day, that uh, and actually within the first hour, I had my mind set. Okay, we good, we fasting, then don't we abstain from this, this, that, that, and the other. And so I, I'm locked in, I'm good. Let's go forward. And then lo and behold, my microwave at that time was broke. Lo and behold, I uh, had to fix my grandson a plate, and we couldn't throw it in the microwave, the microwave was broke. And so, unbeknownst well, beknownst to me, I, I said, you know what, let me see if this stuff is hot. And so I dig into his plate and guess what? <laughs> right in my mouth. <laughs> right in my mouth. How do you think I felt? Felt bad. I felt horrible. Yeah. Right? And then on the back side of that, this is what I said of myself. How easy, Charles, mm -hmm. is it for you to lose focus? My yeah. God. Yeah. How quick yeah. have thou moved thyself? out of the way. Mm -hmm. You said that you was going to do this, yeah. but yet here you are mm -hmm. within the hour. Mm -hmm. Not maintaining focus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Not, 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 <laughs> not holding yourself account. Mm -hmm. And so of course it hit me as it hitting me now. You couldn't stay up with me for an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not the only one. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying it. But I, ain't, I don't know nobody else. Yeah, right. But I know as the Lord has given me this lesson, we got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And being dead in your sins, verse 13, and being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having what? Forgive, forgiving mm -hmm. you what? All trespasses. All trespasses. Mm -hmm. We were born sinning. We were born in sin. I'm telling you the truth. It does not matter how good you think you were as a little kid. You were born cursed. Yeah. You were born in sin. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you gotta be born again. Amen. Amen. There would be no need to be born again if you were born a holy little kid. Amen. And the only one that's called holy at birth is Jesus. And it says that a holy thing that is in you. Right? Amen. Ain't none of that been said about none of us. Amen. 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 That holy thing had not been said of us. And so we have to uh, be forgiven and thank the Lord for his forgiveness over us 
Because we are in him. You cannot be outside of him and think that you are forgiven of your trespasses. Mm -hmm. If you are not a part of the vine, then you are not a partaker in the substance of the vine. Any leaf that's cut off is no longer supplied. Amen. And if you was never a part, then you have no ownership in the vine. Amen. You have no place in it. But by God's grace, mm -hmm. that he can graft you in. He can take you from a dead space, yeah. attach you to him, and bring life, yes. and bring living water in you. Yes. He can do these things. Yes. And so again, it doesn't matter how far off you were, he is able to secure you. He is able to bring you in. Mm -hmm. Faith comes by hearing. Yes. Hear what thus says the Lord. Amen. 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 Verse 14, and I will pick it up. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary, meaning against us, mm -hmm. all right, which was contrary to us, and took it, what? Out, 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 of, out of the way. And then did what with it? Nailed, Nailed, it. It. Nailed it. Nailed it to the cross. Yes. Yes. Right? Oh my God. There it lies. Oh my God. Look up at it. Oh my it's God. nailed to the cross. Why are we struggling? Why are not we walking in the liberty of which he has secured for us? Why are we suffering through what men say? Do this. You need to do that. You need to give this. You need to give that. You need to be like this. You need to be like that. It's got nailed to the cross. Amen. Oh my God. You don't have to do that. And if any man come to you and beguile you and say, no, 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 you know, there's another way. Yeah. You say to him or to her, to their face, there is no other way. Amen. For Jesus said, I am the way, yeah. the truth, yeah. and the life. Nobody yes. <laughs> is going to the Father except through me. Amen. Amen. Nobody. Yes. So to God be the glory. He says that having... Uh, Verse 15, and having spoiled, meaning conquered, what? Principalities and powers again. Mm -hmm. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Well, which angels that he per tell might be talking about? Which, which ones? Huh? I call them Satan. Satan and the other homeboys, they got kicked out. Yeah, yeah. his buddies. <laughs> I, I, I seen them fall like lightning. Amen. Yeah. They had to go. Yeah. Amen. Oh right? Yeah. And when the demons in Scripture had seen Jesus, mm -hmm. oh, they recognize who he is. Yeah. Lord, it's not our time. Have you come to, yeah. you know, yeah, right. have you come now? No, no, not, oh not our God. time. Ooh. Right? Oh they recognized who Jesus was. Yeah. They recognized the power yeah. that he held. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We need to recognize like power in Jesus. Amen. And so as he is saying to these Colossian church, he said, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, mm -hmm. triumphing over them in it. Mm -hmm. Let no man therefore judge you in food mm -hmm. or in drink or in respect mm -hmm. of a holy day or of a new moon or of the Sabbath days. He is hitting the Jewish Judaizers and believers in their heart. Mm -hmm. You can't mix old wine mm -hmm. in a new wine yes. bottle. Yes. Right. You can't put new wine in an old wine bottle. Mm -hmm. The scripture says because that bag going to do what? Mm -hmm. Bust. Yes, right. Meaning it's not going to be able to hold on to that new wine in that old bottle. We must be able to accept God's new wine in this old body yes. because this old body he is more than able mm -hmm. to hold on to mm -hmm. and to keep. Do you hear me? Amen. And so, cover it up. And so he says, let nobody, nobody should be able to judge you about what you eat. Now, let me quickly say this and I have to get out your way. You can't judge me for what I eat. Mm -hmm. You can't judge me for what I drink. 
Don't judge me because I don't worship on this day or that day. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me because I could care less whether it's a new moon, a whole moon, a blue moon, a red moon. I, don't, don't judge me for that. Don't judge me that I'm doing this or that on the Sabbath day. You can't judge me on that. But you know what I have the power to do? In my liberty, I can abstain mm -hmm. from certain foods. Mm -hmm. I can abstain mm -hmm. from certain drinks. I can willfully not partake in something. I'm not commanded not to, but I can willingly of my own will abstain from. I have the right to abstain from. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I, I used this analogy back in the day, teaching this over many, many, many moons. Is if you go into somebody's house and they're vegetarians and you're not a vegetarian, just because you eat meat don't mean you need to take meat into their house. Yeah. You need to refrain, abstain, mm -hmm. so that you don't, the Bible even calls them weak, uh, you don't use your liberty to be offensive to somebody who has not yet grown up yeah. into that area in the faith and understanding of what scripture is. And so you're able to abstain. Amen. But nobody should be able to judge you. And you shouldn't give them no care, no thought, whether they judge you. He says this, Which are these things which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Mm -hmm. Everything that the Old Testament and that these Jewish um, teachers, I guess you would say Jewish speakers, was trying to get the new Gentiles and uh, new Christians to you know pick up Old Testament laws. Is the Old Testament gone away? Of course it's not. Mm -hmm. Are we bound by those things? No, we're not. Do we sometimes mix the old and the new? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Do sometimes from the pulpit we'll bring something from the old to get you to do something we want you to do in the new? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, be careful, be mindful, be watchful, right? And so again, in verse 18 says what? Let no, no man, man beguile, beguile you of, of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up, by his fleshly mind. Yeah. It's a whole lot of philosophy out there, words out there. There's a whole lot of things that can take you off track mm -hmm. that's out there. And the scripture says, don't let them beguile you. Mm -hmm. Don't let them trick you. Mm -hmm. Don't let them remove you uh, from your place. Let me see, I want to read this. <clears throat> read it like this. Beguile you of your reward, this is what's written, rob you of your prize. The heretics, if their doctrine were accepted, would rob the Colossians of their spiritual blessings. These false teachers displayed false humility and advanced a gospel of worshiping the angels, that is, paying homage to angelic beings, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, the heretics claim to have witnessed numerous revelations and visions. God have mercy. We, 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 we tend to hear, you know, I got a revelation from the Lord. Uh -oh. The Lord told me to this, that, that, and the other. If it don't line up with what God says, then it don't line up with what God says. Mm -hmm. God said that he'll have prophets that'll be out in the world. Mm -hmm. They'll have teachers, evangelists, mm -hmm. pastors that'll teach you and lead you with all wisdom and understanding, according to Jeremiah, right? There are people out there that God sent into the world, mm -hmm. but he also said you'll know them by their fruit. Yeah. 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 He gives us eyewitness and gives us care. I know you're saying, I'm going to get down. I didn't say that. It's, uh, okay. <laughs> That's my, amen. But worshiping things that we are not to worship, Jesus Christ with the indwelling of God the Father in him, reconciling the world to itself, there is nothing else. And to accept anything else, it's like a, and I'm going to say it in my tongue, it's like a slap in the face. Mm. There go my mama sitting right there, right? Mm. 
It is one thing for me to call somebody else mother. Like we say, Mother Davis. Mm -hmm. That's acceptable. Mm -hmm. That in no way is replacing my mother. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. No way in replacing my mother. But if I said, she is my mama, what do you think my real mama going to feel like? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Imagine somebody accepting other than Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And the Father said, I sent him into the world that he should be the propitiation for all mankind. Meaning everything that I needed to save all of y'all, mm -hmm. here he is. Mm -hmm. God said, I don't need nobody else but him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we don't need nobody what? But him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, <clears throat> I got to get out your way. I ran over. Like I said, I wasn't going to be able to finish all of this. But amen. So let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility. A humility and that's just basically acting humble. Not of a, any good thing, but you just acting, you playing, you showing, you act like you humble. Ain't no humbleness about you. Mm -hmm. You saying, ma'am, let me, let me get out your way, being kind and courteous. But knowing in your heart you're a raving lion. You're a viper. You ain't no good. But you want to show mm -hmm. this outwardly expression, but the inside of you is nothing but doom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We black folks, I ain't going to say the other word. I'm going to just say without doom. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Fit for nothing but to be dis discarded. Amen. Last verse and I get out your way. And not holding the head from which all Speaking of flesh and mind, this is a reference to back to 18. Mm -hmm. And not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment, ministered and knit together, increases with the increase of God. This verse simply speaking about holding the head. Holding the head. Hmm. Let me just read it like this. The Greek word holding means to hold fast to someone so as to remain united with him. The head is Christ. Thus holding the head reveals that the local heretics possess no relationship with Christ. They were not therefore true Christians. As the head is Christ, so the body is figuratively represented to be the church. And the joints and bands are by implication the individual believers within the church. Having nourished, ministered, and knit together means being supported and united from Christ the head. Then the church, which is the body, derives spiritual growth as it is supported and united by the various ministering believers. We are the joints and the bands. That's who we are, joints and bears. If we're not holding him, meaning holding fast to him, then we will fall to the wayside. We got to hold to him. Anybody that does not say that Jesus is Christ, Jesus is Lord, mm -hmm. the Bible says, get, your, get away from them. Yes. They're not telling you the truth, and they're going to lead you to destruction. The Bible declares to us that Jesus is God in the flesh, that he came down to this world, that this world through him might be saved. He gave his life for a ransom of many. And he declared, nobody's taken my life, but I willingly lay it down. Mm -hmm. They took him from judgment hall to judgment hall, trying to find fault in him. But at the last judgment hall, it was even said that they found no fault in him. Yeah. And he was subject to be let go. But the very people whom he came to save mm -hmm. cried out the more, crucify him, mm -hmm. crucify him, crucify him. And it was said unto them, Crucify? Isn't he your king? No, we have no king. No, Lord, no. I told you who I was, didn't believe him. And so they took him from judgment hall to judgment hall, and ultimately they whipped him. And if you study how they whipped him, as Pastor has said, it's not 39 lashes. If you study that, Christ was whipped to the tune of anywhere from 100 to 120 lashes. Mm -hmm. Please study that. Yes. When he was scourged, mm -hmm. it's not something that we think of. 
and they mixed Old Testament with New Testament when it talks about scourging. Yeah. And we are not to do that. Oh, Amen. And so we went on that cross. He died on that cross and they buried him. Mm -hmm. And on the third day, as he had previously said, he going to get up. So he got up on the third day with all power. Yeah. Power to save, power to deliver, power to call the lost from darkness and into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. Able power to keep us and to hold us until his reappearing. But all of that only comes if we accept what he did for us. Do you accept him? Amen. I'm here to tell you it's not about church attendance per se. It's not about anything other than clearly accepting who he is and what he did for you. Amen. If you have not accepted him in pardoning of your sins as Lord, Savior, and Sovereign, please do so now as we sing Come to Jesus. Please stand. <laughs> Come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, Jesus. 